You're watching ABC 36 on your side. Good afternoon, Kentucky. Welcome back. Revive Life House is a caring, faith-based addiction recovery program that shows love to others by providing excellent addiction treatment care for their residents and family members here in Central Kentucky. And here to talk to us more about Revive Life House is Heather Johnson, the Director of Development. Welcome to the show, Heather. Hi. So happy to have you on here because this is such an important topic as we were talking about. Unfortunately, there is a very high need for this here in Kentucky. Absolutely. And it's always great to be here to have the opportunity to share because Kentucky is very much impacted by substance use disorders. Um, and Revive has been around for eight years. We've welcomed over 3,000 clients into our program. And being able to provide that care and that treatment um, is just such, an, is such a huge need. And it's something that we're privileged to do. Absolutely. And tell us more about Revive Life House, your programs. How can people get into it? Yeah, absolutely. So we are a three-phase program. We go anywhere from 30 days up to six months. We also have a sober living program that's 12 to 18 months. And um, we've got an intake team that's available constantly. There's some of the best people out there ready to get involved. We've got different um, organizations that we work with to refer people into our program, making sure they're getting excellent care. Um, our website is always a great place to start, which is revivelifehouse.org. It has that information. But ultimately, we know that recovery is holistic. It is the whole person. It's not just the physical, but it's the mental, it's the spiritual, it's the emotional, and it's the relational. And that's really at the key of what we do is building relationships. That's great. And I think, again, that is so important important is to build those relationships and that trust. And I know Revive has an anniversary coming up next month, so that's some very exciting news. Yes, eight years on April 8th, so. It's the golden day. Yes, I it's, love it's, it. an, it's an awesome opportunity. And starting April 1st, we're actually kicking off our spring fundraiser called Eight Days of Giving. So each day we'll share a, a milestone or a celebration as we introduce our next initiative, which is our Common Ground Resource Center, which will help impact families of those who have been impacted by substance use disorders. And that is fantastic because not only are the people who are addicted to substances, it's the families as well. So yes. I think that's great. And when does that start again? Give us more information on that. So the, our Common Ground Resource Center, we're in the progress of getting that up and running. We received one of the opioid abatement grants last year. Thank you. It was absolutely instrumental in us getting the space ready. Um, so we're in the process of being licensed for a mental health clinic. We're looking at regulations and things like that to be an after school program for local kids. Having community support services like the Justman County Food Pantry operates out of this space. Um, so over the next, um, over those eight days, April 1st to April 8th, we're really going to be getting into the details and the excitement that's happening with this next stage in our life. That is great that y'all are giving back to the community in so many ways. I mean, that's insane. We have mental health center, you have the Revive Life House programs. That is great. So how can our viewers learn more about Revive Life House, maybe to get involved, donate, whatever it might be? Yeah, absolutely. Our website, revivelifehouse.org, has, we've got contact forms, we've got our donate page, we've got our program descriptions. Um, you can also go to commongroundresource.org as you wanna hear if you're more interested in the resource center. It's just gonna be a great opportunity to, to build health and awareness in our community. Yes, and I'm sure we're gonna have you back on the show to talk more about this because it seems like y'all are doing so much. So again, thank you for coming on the show, telling us all about this. It was great to have you, Heather. Absolutely, thanks for having me. Yeah, absolutely, and make sure y'all stay with us. We'll have more Good Afternoon Kentucky after this.